Hello, can you see me? I'm using the Rode Wireless Go system. I'm right over here. Can you see me? Let's go test it out. Oh boy. Oh boy. Because here I come. Here. Oh. Are you looking for a wireless solution to get rid of that shotgun? Well, guess what? I got it right here with the Rode Wireless Go system. Let's go ahead, unbox this bad boy, and let you know what our initial thoughts are. And that video is coming up next. But first, my name is Brian, the camera guy, and I review Sony gear, more specifically the Sony A6400. I also review camera accessories, like in this video, where I'm gonna be reviewing the Rode Wireless Go system. If that's something you're into, consider subscribing, and don't forget to hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Today, we have the Rode Wireless Go system. We're gonna do a quick unboxing. I'm gonna show you what's in the box, and then we're gonna give it a test and see how it works. So let's go ahead, pull it open, and see what comes in the box. So now, typically I've been using the Rode Video Micro. I also recently reviewed the Comica V30 Lite. So in here, you get a transmitter and a receiver. So one of these is gonna clip right onto your camera. The other one is gonna go into your hot shoot or cold shoot on your DSLR. Now, now this system will work on cell phones, but you will need to get an adapter. I did do a video with uh, additional camera accessories. I'll link that up in the cards up here. In there, I talk about a splitter, and with that splitter, you will be able to use that splitter if you wanna use this on your cell phone. So, uh, it comes with, comes with a receiver and a transmitter. So let's go ahead, pull these off. These things are so tiny. I mean, I mean, talk about tiny. I mean, this thing, this thing is about as big as my Fitbit right here. So I got the Fitbit Blaze on, and this thing is pretty much the same size as that thing. It's very light, very compact. Now the receiver does come with a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, so you can plug in additional microphones. So you wanna plug in a lav mic, or let's say you're doing a, let's say you're doing an interview, you could also plug in a shotgun mic. I got, uh, I got two right here that I'm gonna test out for you. Um, but it does have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. It's also got a built-in speaker. It also comes with two wind muffs. So you can clip this right onto your shirt. You can clip it right onto your shirt and use the wind muffs. So the transmitter does use the 2.4 gigahertz signal. And these things pair up right out of the box. So it also comes with two USB-C, two USB-C charging cables. So really handy. Also, you can double these uh, to use on other devices as well. So really nice of Rode to supply those. Now I did purchase this system all by myself. So Rode did not pay me or provide me with any of this gear. I went ahead and purchased it myself. It also comes with the 3.5 millimeter audio cable. Break this out. Also comes with the things you're not supposed to eat, so don't eat those. Got some paperwork here. Mm, nothing really fancy in here. Just throw that over there. And then it also comes with a nice little, little pouch here. So this pouch will store everything that I have here in front of me. So really nice, extra little convenience so you can keep everything in the system together. So this is everything that you'll receive when you receive the Rode Wireless Go system. Right now I am recording using the Boya BY M1 microphone, lav mic. So what we'll do is let's go ahead and swap out for the Rode wireless system. Uh, first, we'll try it just with the microphone all by itself. So we're gonna use the transmitter and the receiver all by itself. So I'm gonna go ahead, get this set up, and I'll be back in a second. All right, now I do have the Rode wireless Go system plugged into myself. I am using the built-in microphone on the receiver. Uh, it's kind of nice, it pairs it up. It does give you the option to go into negative 12 decibel, negative six, or you could just run it hot. And this thing does run hot. Right now in my Sony a6400, I do have the volume level set to five on the internal camera presets. And then I have this set negative six on the gain. So this thing, this thing runs hot. You're definitely gonna wanna turn down your volume when you're using this system. But could this be a great vlogging system? Not sure. So let's go ahead, attach the wind muff. 
See how hard that is? We'll do it while we're here. Oh, look at that. That was pretty simple. So it just kind of pops in there. Now, it is my understanding that Rode did have a problem, has a problem with these wind muffs and they do pop off pretty easily. And it's my understanding that they are gonna be working on a solution to get you out a replacement. It's gonna be a little bit more stable, but uh, this thing is a pretty big furry dead cat here. So, um, so I'm pretty sure that, uh, that it's gonna do a pretty nice job with the wind. So let's give it the wind test. So there's the wind test. Comment down below if the wind test was successful. Also, I'm not sure if you're hearing this, but I do have some birds chirping up in the background. So you'll have to let me know if you can hear those down in the comments below as well. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test out a couple different audio solutions here that could pair up with your Rode Wireless Go. So let's go ahead. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna throw on the Boya BYM1 lav mic and let's see how the audio sounds on that. Boom, all right, so now I'm back with the lav mic on. Um, so I did plug it into the 3.5 millimeter audio jack. So it's plugged in, it's running hot now. Uh, so you can see how easy and small and compact this is. Uh, these do come with two bell clips. So this bell clip obviously on the receiver could clip on anywhere in one of your pockets or onto your actual belt itself. So the bell clip on the receiver does double as a, as a cold shoot mounter. So this is the audio quality test that you can receive with a powered lav mic. Audio test one, two, three, audio test one, two, three. Go ahead and comment down below how the lav mic sounds. Let's go ahead and plug in Rode's Video Mic Row and let's see how that sounds. Not probably the ideal setup, but maybe if you wanna do an interview, you could uh, be out doing an interview with this thing. Um, so let's go ahead and plug this in and see how this sounds. All right, so now we're back. We're back with the Rode Video Mic Row. Uh, plugged into the Rode Wireless Go system. So this is the audio quality that you can expect to receive with the Rode Video Micro. Um, I got the dead cat on here. This is a really big dead cat. So as you can see the comparison. Um, so this is a really big dead cat, um, but this is a very directional microphone. So, so as you're talking to it, uh, hopefully the audio levels are, are pretty good. Um, the only thing is though, why would you need a shotgun microphone? You do have the built-in microphone right here and hopefully the audio quality sounded pretty good with that. Um, but this is the Rode Video Micro, audio test one, two, three, audio test one, two, three. So go ahead and comment down below on how the Rode Video Micro sounds with the Rode Wireless Go. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch it out for the Comica V30 Lite. And like I said, uh, I did link up in the cards above. If you haven't seen my comparison between these two microphones, definitely check out the uh, cards up above and I'll also put it down in the description so you can easily find that. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch out the Rode Video Micro. Once again, audio test one, two, three, audio test one, two, three. Let's go ahead and switch this out. Okay, we're back and now, right now I have the Comica V30 Lite plugged in. So this is a, uh, a non-Rode uh, shotgun microphone. Like I said in my previous review, uh, that you're definitely gonna wanna get a dead cat for. So this is the audio test with the Comica V30 Lite. Audio test one, two, three. Audio test one, two, three. Go ahead and comment down below on what the Comica V30 Lite sounds like. Let's go ahead, switch back to the Rode Wireless Go all by itself and finish up this video. All right, so we're back and right now we have the Rode Wireless Go. Uh, straight up microphone. Got it here with the dead cat. So this is the audio quality that you can expect to receive with the Rode Wireless Go. Audio test one, two, three. Audio test one, two, three. So what do I think of the Rode Wireless Go? I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's gonna run you about the same as a higher end shotgun microphone. Uh, you can still get away with a more budget option if you stick with the Rode Video Micro, or you could go with the Comica V30 Lite, or any sort of budget friendly uh, shotgun microphone. Um, so you can definitely save some money there. At the start of this video, you did see me uh, testing out the distance. This thing does go up to 230 feet or 17 meters. So you can still get pretty much the same audio that you're gonna receive when you're about this distance away. So go ahead, comment down below on uh, how you think the audio quality sounds coming straight out of the microphone on the Rode Wireless Go. Audio test one, two, three. Audio test one, two, three. One of the things that I did forget to mention is that the Rode Wireless Go does not turn off 
when you turn off the camera. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and uh, make sure you turn it off. Now it does come with exceptional battery life. You can get up to seven hours worth of battery life on this thing, and it charges very quickly, two and a half hours. The other thing is you can plug in a charger as you're using the microphone. This way you can charge it on the go. I'll also put links to everything in this video uh, down in the comments below. Feel free to use those links. Those are affiliate links and do help support my channel. So I really appreciate that. So if you found value in this video, make sure you give it a like, comment down below, subscribe to see more, ring that bell notification so you don't miss out on my future videos. My name is Brian the Camera Guy. Thanks for watching.